2011, Guinness Trust was granted a 75 million regeneration. They have decided to get rid of the people who lived here 10 years. We've occupied this as a protest. We would not go quietly. They wanted to demolish the building for quite some time, um, over 10 years. Uh, they've asked uh, Lambeth Council for permission. On many occasions it was refused. Half the state was empty and Guinness Trust came up with this idea to start a tenancy called AST, which stands for a short, short hold tenant, uh, while they're waiting to uh, regenerate. The tenancy that were given to like myself back in 2005 was only meant to be six months tenancy. I'm facing the vision as well. This is what we have been told, that for as long as you are living here, your tenancy will be renewed every six months. So this should continue. Rather than pushing people out, irrespective of, of their medical condition, children and all that. I've got two children now, seven and eight. As the time went on, yeah, yeah. We've, we basically lived in limbo for the last uh, eight years. We started campaigning to begin with four years ago. The eviction took place Christmas time, 2011. 53 families were evicted. Most of them were vulnerable, most of them had children. Lambeth Council would say, you're not homeless because they're building stand. And Guinness said that they have no obligation as the tenancy was insecure to start with. You can't expect people to live on a short term when it's not short term. 10 years is not a short term. They're building from 390 to 520. Lambeth Council only got 30 units out of 520 for social housing for their waiting list. We ask Guinness and Lambeth why we can't have those 30 units. We've lived here, we made this place a lot better. When we moved in here, it was ridden of crime, prostitution, uh, gangs. It's just disgusting how they're treating people who came in into an empty state, made it their home, made it better, and now that you are doing a re regeneration and you're gonna sell on full market, right, we no longer need it. And we feel used and, uh, and abused. They started sending us threatening letter. I got depressed, mentally depressed, to the extent that the home treatment has to be coming to give me treatment. I have got a POP on my leg due to my uh, swollen leg ac previous accident. If I'm going to walk long distance, I have to put it on. Look at the house. Darkness. Nothing has been done. We've been living like this. All the windows, there's a lot of water. See, I have to put buckets. Darkness, black. Look at. I have to put a, a towel. I'm leaking. Guinness has refused to talk to us. They would deliberately do individual meeting and basically tell them there's no option and they have no chance and they refuse to meet us as a group. The bigger picture of what's happening now is the gentrification of Brixton. Since Brixton Village opened, Brixton has become trendy, you know, restaurants and so on. Prices of houses has gone up. The perfect example, I guess, is the evictions of the arches in Atlantic Road. Suddenly, Network Rail want to renew all those units, and what they're saying to them is they need to come out, and when they come back, their prices will be tripled. And it's exactly the same with houses. I've even tried my best to get a place, but unfortunately, I couldn't get because they said I'm not working. So, I don't know the next step. I don't know, I don't have anywhere to go. The cheapest rent that I've checked uh, in not such a nice place, even in, in, in Brixton, it's uh, 1,300 just on a rent, on a two bedroom. I'm a single mom, I work part time. And uh, for me to be able to uh, live in Brixton, it's, it's impossible. What they want you to do is top it up with housing benefit, but there's been a benefit cap. So what they want you to do is really just leave the area and go somewhere where you can live. Uh, and this is, this is why we think it's a social cleansing. This is all designed to get rid of working class of London and to make London for the rich. Lambeth Council and Guinness Trust agreed a package. The package is 500 to leave quietly without any eviction or bailiff. 
1,500 if you could secure a private accommodation, plus 4,700 for the inconvenience of losing your home, as they call it. And we feel we've been here for so long, it's an insult and we won't take it. We are tenants of being here, you know, 12, 10 years, and we deserve nothing else, at least to come out of your office and listen to our concern. So if people can really support us by coming to protest outside, the Guinness Trust will be good. If you can go and like the ASD Guinness uh, Facebook, that would be even better. And we also got a petition on change.org. We'll fight every eviction, we'll fight all the way. The first eviction of a family of a disabled man uh, was his sister and her, his, and her children is happening on Thursday at 9.30, 85 Elvedin House. And we're asking uh, uh, people to come and protest with us because we cannot allow, in 2015, a charity uh, evicting a, a, an old disabled man from a home that he's been for so long.